Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about Johev. He is such a great hero, especially because you can use him in three different roles. Fighter, Tank and Jungler. We will go through the following segments. Skills, Combo and Usage of Skills, Playstyle, Laning, Builds, Spells, Emblem Set and Targets and Counters. Let's start with his passive. Each time you deal damage to a target, a stack of compression will be added on it for 3 seconds. Each stack will increase the amount of basic attack damage on the target by 8%. Next is his first skill. Jawhead fires 12 missiles at nearby targets. The missiles attack the enemy randomly, so make sure that no minions or jungle creeps are around. When you're attacking an enemy hero, each attack adds a stack to his path. We will continue with his second skill. Jawhead speed increases by 30% and he gains a shield for 5 seconds. When you use that skill again, he will throw the closest target to a designated location, dealing damage and stun it. Enemies in that area will be also stunned. You can throw enemies, minions, jungle creeps and also your teammates. But please, don't be a troll. Don't throw your teammates into the enemy tower or something. That's just not nice. If you're ever playing with a troll Joha together, you can buy the odd potion, so your teammate cannot throw you anymore. Last is his ultimate. Joha locks onto an enemy hero, charging into them and stun them briefly, and knocking back enemies around the target. You can choose into which enemy you want to charge. This skill is very useful for engaging or chasing fast escaping enemies. You should prioritize to level up his first skill and his ultimate whenever possible. You can use multiple combos. First, most of the time it makes sense to activate your first skill before engaging. Like this you can deal damage directly on the target once you are near to it. The first combo is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2. Activate your first and second skill and launch into the enemy's backline. Once you hit the enemy with your ult, throw him up or towards your allies to kill him. You can also do 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3. Either use your speed from your second skill to get near the enemy or ambush them from a bush. Save your ult to chase the fleeing enemy. The third combo is 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3. You use that combo when your main goal is to throw the enemy into your tower or towards your ally. Since you throw the enemy away from you first, you should wait to activate your first skill until you are near the enemy again. And the last combo is simply 1 plus 2 plus 2 to finish enemies with low HP. Jawhead is already really strong on level 1, so you can be aggressive right from the beginning and dominate the enemy. In ganks, you can easily aim for the squishy heroes with your ultimate and try to separate them from their team. In the late game, he becomes weaker, since the squishy heroes will have some defensive items and the teams tend to stick together for ganks, what makes it more hard to focus on a single target. Now comes the part that makes Johan such a great hero. We will go through each rule and I will explain you how you should use them. Let's start with the XP lane. First, have a look who is likely your enemy on the lane. If the enemy will be one with high sustainability, like Hilda, Ruby or Masha, I would recommend to be a bit careful, since you cannot easily kill them. If not, you can go right away from the beginning. Buy directly your boots and run to this bush. Most enemies will enter this bush. So wait as long as possible before you activate your first skill and attack the enemy. You will be able to damage the enemy a lot and make them retreat into the tower. Use that by not attacking the minions and keep the enemy away from them. He will not be able to gain any gold or XP like this. If he comes out of the tower, just kill him. If he goes back to his base, attack the minions and get some gold from the tower. Once the enemy is back, you can repeat this. Be aware that when you dominate your enemy, it's very likely that his teammates are coming to your lane and try to help that poor guy. So always pay attention what is going on on the map. Otherwise, it is your job to keep the towers on your lane alive and rotate to help in ganks. 
As a jungler, your priority should be becoming level 4 as soon as possible and rotate to the gold lane. Depending which lane is the gold lane, you start to clear the buff on the opposite side and clear the jungle on the way. Once you have done that, you should be almost level 4 and you can start to hide in that bush and ping your allies to attack. You focus on the MM and try to kill them. Afterwards, you can go back clearing the jungle and harass the enemy as much as possible. Since everyone will be on their lanes, it is quite easy to get the upper hand on them and help your teammates to control their lanes. Last, if you use them as a tank, you should be aggressive against the enemy's MM and try to give your MM gold advantage. Otherwise, you can play him as any other tank. Keep in mind that your damage will not be that high pretty soon since you are focusing on defensive items. So don't overestimate your damage. First I'm going to show you my builds and then explain you why I chose them. The shoes should be self-explaining. I like the rapid boots for faster rotation when you play the jungle role. For a fighter build, I will build endless battle first. It increases your physical attack and additional damage. It also gives you more HP, mana regeneration, some lifesteal and a bit more movement speed. The next item should be Blade of Despair, simply for more damage. Afterwards I build Windtaker. It deals extra magical damage and increases your movement speed. It also increases your chance of crit damage. His last two items should be defensive items. Queen's Wings will increase your HP and physical attack and also gives you a little cooldown reduction. It will reduce the damage and increase your lifesteal once your HP is below 40%. Immortality increases your HP and physical defense and gives you a second life of course. As tank, you either buy warrior or tough boots, depending if your enemies deal more physical or magical damage. For his first item, you should buy either the courage or the shadow mask, depending on which you like more. As a second item, Antique Horas is really good. It reduces the enemy's physical attack, which is great for teamfights. Next, I like to buy Dominance Eyes. It lowers the movement and attack speed of your enemies, which can give your team a huge advantage in ganks. The last two items are Immortality and Queen Swings, for the reasons I mentioned before. If the enemy deals a lot of magical damage, you should get Athena's Shield for more magical defense as your third or fourth item. I will make it short here. I think Flicker is by far the best option. You can teleport near to your target or tower dive to throw the enemy out of the tower. Of course you can also use it to escape. On the XP lane you should use the Assassin Emblem with a talent killing spree. As a jungler I recommend to use the Assassin Emblem as well but with a talent bounty hunter since you will force many ganks and therefore get a ton of kills, hopefully. As tank you should use a support emblem, with the talent pull yourself together. For his targets you should aim always at the back. As mentioned before, you can target them pretty easy with your ultimate. Other very nice targets are heroes with high mobility, like Fanny or Ling. They will have a hard time escaping from you, since once your ultimate is locked on them, he will follow them also far away and you have a good chance to kill them. The first counter I want to mention is Sun. Since he can create doppelganger, it counters jaw heads for a skill. Also, all enemies who can remove CC skills can counter him. When you try to throw them, they can just simply escape. If an enemy hero uses Purify, it has the same effect of course. And that's it for today's guide. I hope you found it helpful and if you did, consider leaving a like. I'm planning to do a new guide every week, so please do subscribe if this is something that interests you. Thanks and see you next time.